Hey, I'm Megan and welcome to Inside Powder Coating. We recently went to the Coating West show hosted by the Powder Coating Institute in Las Vegas, Nevada. PCI is a nonprofit organization that promotes powder coating technology and its benefits to manufacturers and consumers. While we were in Vegas, we talked to Steve Houston, Executive Director of PCI. You know, this is a regional event that we're having in Vegas, and typically we have a large event in the Midwest. But we wanted to take the event out to the market, and, and it just made a lot of sense to go west with one venue here in Vegas. What a great place. And then we'll have one at the end of September and October in Nashville. And they're smaller venues, but we expect to draw a whole different crowd that we might not see in the Midwest. So it's working out real well. Traffic's really good. We're excited about it. And the idea is to elevate the quality of the coders out there in the marketplace. So this year, we're launching it tomorrow. You'll see the certification program called PCI 3000. I've hired a technical director, Roger Talbert, who's just been in the industry for about 30 years. Roger Talbert is going to head up our training programs. We've got a laboratory that we just added this year, which we can do salt spray and QUV and a number of different processes to evaluate and look at different coatings. So there's a lot of technical infrastructure that we're adding to, and we've come a long way in a short period of time. So I'm excited about the new values that we bring membership. I think the best way to describe it is we used to be an administrative organization and now we're building a new technical infrastructure and really bringing more value to not only the members but the entire industry. So I think it's really uh, put a punch of enthusiasm back into this association. I'm excited to be a part of it. The Coding West Show gave attendees the chance to talk to vendors one-on-one -on -one about what technology best fits their businesses. Now when it comes to curing, one of the most common ways of curing is a convection oven like this one. But more and more powder coaters are turning to infrared curing because of its flexibility and accuracy. It's a direct line of sight heat and it's the same infrared as found in the spectrum of the sun. So it is a direct form of heat that's generated from an electric or gas fired emitter and it's in wavelengths as part of the spectrum and the heat is impinged directly onto the product, onto the coating that you're trying to cure or or you know finish. Well, the advantages are many in that it's uh, first of all it is uh, a direct form of heat so you don't have to heat a volume of air to get heat on or into the product so you it, it, it's highly efficient and it's highly controllable so you can direct most or almost all the energy that's being generated from the emitter onto the product. You can configure infrared uh, ovens, custom designed ovens, to fit the product. So you can put emitters around the product, under the product, above the product, and impinge that direct radiant heat onto the, onto the coating. Uh, you can set up infrared with a, what we call a recipe into a PLC, and it, you can control button or push button number two to cure that particular finish or color or you know, cure that particular part or you can uh, push another recipe for, and it, the infrared will adjust or zone to match the heat that is required to cure that product. There's several other advantages involved too in, in terms of using infrared. It's, it's almost always going to re use less footprint or less space required than you would use in a traditional convection oven. Uh, or you can many times back down the energy you're consuming in your convection oven by using infrared as a preheat or a, or a booster in a booster application. So it is proving to be a very energy saving type of application using infrared. We do every application, we insist on testing in our labs uh, and, and infrared manufacturers almost always have free testing and we emphasize that quite highly that you, you do get the parts and the coatings in there. We'll apply the coatings and see what best infrared application uh, needs to be used for that specific part for that customer. Again, with the rapid response and the, and the zoning flexibility you have with infrared, it makes much more sense to use infrared in many, many applications. Whereas normally you'd just cure it with hot air. We can, we can take the time down, reduce the footprint, and get more repeatable, accurate results with infrared in many cases. 
That's it for this episode and thanks for watching. You can also visit our website insidepowdercoating.com where you can find previous episodes or links to powder coating resources. You can also send in all your questions to Joey. See you next time.